Hi, I'm Matt and today I would like to show you very quickly how easily you can start monitoring your iDoc interfaces in SAP AF. The aim of this video is just to show you how quickly you can start monitoring your existing interfaces uh, with uh, SAP AF. In this video we will focus on uh, iDoc outbound interface. If we want to monitor IDOCs in SAP AF, we have to know which IDOC do we want to monitor. For this purpose, we need to know basic type and message type of the IDOC. Then we have to generate ABAP structure for this specific basic type and message type. And in the end, we have to set AF customization. In this video, we will create an SAP AF interface for outbound Mantmas 05 IDOC. Let me open a timer just to measure how much time do we need for this action. Let's start. First, we have to open transaction AF IDOC Gen. In this transaction, we have to generate IDOC structure and interface definition for this specific basic type and message type we want to use. In addition, we have to provide prefix structure and IDOC data structure. If we are using extension, we can also use it, but in our case, we will skip that step. Then you have to provide the namespace in which AF interface will be created. As a next step, we have to provide the interface name that will be immediately created when we will execute this report. Then we have to provide also interface version and interface description. Finally, we can provide the package name and the workbench and customization requests. Right now, I will click execution button and immediately we should be able to see what exactly report is doing. It's creating and activating all the substructures. In the end, we should be able to see every single substructure and the final structure that was created for this interface. Now we will go to transaction AFCast in order to open the interface that was created. Under the node interface development we have to open define interface. We have to provide the namespace for which we created the interface and we can double click on the interface we created. Because we are using only pure monitoring features I will use the same row and SAP structure. I will also check move corresponding structure checkbox. Now we have to go back to the AF customization and under additional interface properties we have to specify interface engines. What we have to do here is just to make sure that IDOC application engine and persistent engines are set. Then we can go back and in assign IDOC types we have to make sure that for the interface we created, the proper message type and proper basic type are set. Perfect! You just finished all the steps that are required in order to monitor IDOC interfaces with SAP AF. Right now I can stop the timer and as you can see, we were able to do it within less than 3 minutes. Just to confirm that we will see all the new IDOCs in SAP AF, I will go to the WE19 transaction and I will reuse one of the existing IDOCs in order to send it again. Now we can go to the AF monitoring and error handling transaction. In this window we have to select the interface we created in the ZDemo namespace and then we can choose that we want to see only the message from today uh, and messages with all statuses. As you can see, one IDOC is visible there, and if we will go into the data structure window, we should also see content of the message. In case you want to learn more about SAP AF and about SAP integration, please visit our int4.com website. The link is visible in the description of this video. Thank you for your time and see you soon.